We really haven't met before, have we? But you said you're Paul Zenon is a celebrity magician who's a regular performer on television and in front of live audiences. He's also a fully paid up tarot cynic. So Paul, I'm dying to hear your take on tarot, because I understand you're a card-carrying sceptic, yeah. but you also used to work as a tarot card reader. I used to work as a street performer when I was about 19 or 20 years old, uh, going around the Greek islands, and where we couldn't do street shows, I'd set up in a bar to just wear the crust, basically, doing tarot card reading. So initially, I just blagged it. Uh, and so I, I kind of discovered after a while of doing this completely as a con, that I could kind of fine-tune it. And in the end, I was getting some really amazed reactions from people really? who assumed it was genuine. I actually made more money doing that than doing the street shows, which probably says more about my performing really? skill than anything. Yeah. I think the tarot pack is, is basically um, acting as some kind of filter or some kind of focus, right? When the person walks into the room, the person who's doing the reading, totally subconsciously usually, will actually look at that person, make the mind up about what they want to hear, yeah. but hopefully the person you're doing it to doesn't realise that you're, you're actually, I mean, we call it fishing. Right. You know, <laughs> sort of fishing uh, for, uh, or pumping. Pumping information is the other technical term right. for it. I mean, Tara hasn't turned out the way that I thought it would, but at the sure. same time, it does seem to be a curious phenomenon how it does seem to work. It, it, well, it depends what you mean by work. I mean, yeah. if, if you said, right, if you can do me a reading and tell me what's going to happen to me tomorrow, yeah. right, and if that was accurate, then I'd be convinced. But it does tend to be a little bit like over the next 12 months. You're going to have to see a change. Absolutely. It might be in a relationship or your career. So the problem I have with it is it is so vague. You're giving general kind of uh, readings about everything that sounds specific. If in fact, let, shall we, I'll show you. Okay. Let's do a reading. Let's find a ponder. Let's do one. Shall we? Give it a go. Okay. <laughs> Got my cards. So it's Richard, isn't it? Yes, it's Richard. Okay. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is, is a kind of fairly general reading uh, about you. But the inside of you is very different to the, the sort of face you present to the outside world. It sort of suggests that you... Paul and I subjected passing Aussie, Richard, to our own versions of tarot. Paul made it up as he went along, using his mix of psychology and bluff. That suggests to me that you, you do, or you have done, a great deal of travelling. Would that be right? I've done yeah, yeah, strangely enough, that reverse is to do with sport. It's either snowboarding or, or skiing. Um, I snowboard. You snowboard? There's a decision you're going to have to make about the job, but when you, when you have to make that big decision, just hold back a bit. Don't don't make the plunge straight away. There's something. There's there's a very male figure here that has a big influence on your life. It, it suggests that it might go back to childhood, but it suggests probably a member of your own family. Basically, I'm just going to do it the way I've been taught. I'm just telling you. And me, I did my best to remember everything I'd been taught and tried to interpret the cards. This will be probably talking about you. This usually is supposed to indicate. Um, Someone that you are close to. It's about looking for something. So this card's quite literal. I mean, it's it's supposed to represent a you know a physical relationship. You're maybe not sure about you know which way to go in. So Richard, bearing in mind that uh, neither of us do tarot for a living, so we won't be at all offended if you send anything negative. Um, just wondering if we could have your feedback. Uh, yeah, uh, I thought uh, both readings were. Were interesting. Uh, the first one I'd say was a little more accurate. Uh, for instance, the, the snowboarding really related to me. Right. I really, um, picked up sport, and uh, I, can't, I do that as part of my travels as well. Like I'll spend. Uh, that, that's one of my main focuses. Right. Where are you so, from originally? I'm from Australia, Sydney. Oh, the, that's probably the the, the heat thing. That the, the heat the, thing. Yeah. yeah. So well, you certainly proved your point there. Well, it was, there was a few accurate bits, but I've not done it for a while. <laughs> no, it was impressive, and you know, and it made me look at that interaction angle in yeah, a different way. Because you are going off the visual lot, you know. If you could do a tarot reading for someone that's that you can't see that's not at there. all, then I'd be impressed. So, <laughs> it's, well, so you, well, that's, we'll set you a challenge. Do you want to have a go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Cool. Okay. Oh, here we go, here we go. Join me after the break when I face Paul's fiendish final test of the tarot and try to avoid getting caught in the crossfire between Paul and Michelle.
So I'm mentally preparing myself for my big final challenge. And um, God, you know, I'm really, really looking forward to the outcome because I just don't know what to expect. Undoubtedly, what Paul says is true. But at the same time, I've had so many things happen with the cards that it's hard to keep putting it down to coincidence. And when it comes to Michelle, I respect her equally as much as I respect Paul. But ultimately, I completely agree with Paul that the way to test what there is to tarot is to remove that psychological angle. If you remove that element, you're left with just the cards. I just hope it, it, things don't kick off between Paul and Michelle. <sighs>Right, here's the deal. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. What we've set up in this building, there are yeah. three individuals, three separate individuals. Yeah. You're going to read each of those cards without seeing. Now, I've got to tell you that one of those individuals, there's something going to happen in just over a week's time that is going to affect their life right? Right. in a big way. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to give you any clues apart from that. I'm also interested to see if you read the cards for each people, just the general information about sort of maybe age or maybe the uh, sex or whatever it may be. Okay. But what we're looking for, you've got to choose which one is going to have a life changing experience in just over a week's time. Okay. Okay. Waiter? Yep. I'm saying okay like I have any confidence in it. I have all, every confidence oh, in you, obviously. While I wait nervously for the cards to return, upstairs, out of sight, first of our subjects now, shuffling the tarot I pack. D does know what the challenge involves, so no cheating, all right? Yeah, no I would never. Break it up, you two. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a one in three chance anyway. Hey, there is not. The whole point is we don't want her in our head. Don't, no. don't analyse. Tell, how could you tell I was in the Oh, here we go, here we go, cards. here we go. Oh, wow, thank you. OK. These are the cards I've been picked? Yep, in they've... This order. They were picked in that. OK, I'm going to do traditional. And now it's my job to see what the cards predict for the first subject. Were there any landmark events looming? He's going to have a life-changing experience soon. This is definitely a, a spread that's about relationships and family, but specifically family, because she's got the um, kind of soulmates close, like not... she, so it's a she, you reckon? Oh, yeah, I did say not know. Um, so, all right, I'm guessing female. And yeah, got found out later I got that so wrong. This is... Uh, 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 no, wait, let her <laughs> You're not letting her... She's got to be able to flow with it. You can't just comment on anything she says, because then you're going to lead her off track, let it come That's out. That's a child's card. After. Um, I would guess she was married. But there's I'm, another card. There's another card you're not seeing there. Oh, and hey, now who's influencing <laughs> them, stopping I, I that. Hadn't, I'm not, that. I'm saying I'm she's got to look at all the cards. <laughs> Right, your time's nearly up, so no, come then. No, I had time no, now, isn't it? No. Actually, no, no, and she the, and looked some, at all the cards. Something Wait. being offered. There's a relevant one, she Okay, but we have to move on. Okay, I would guess that she was in a happy, long-term relationship and was either just about to start a family or already had a family, but that either way, it's a fulfilling thing okay. for her. I mean, you could guess she was trying to get pregnant or she was planning to get pregnant or she was pregnant. That's pretty specific. Waiter, okay. number two. Okay. okay. The, the only advice I would give to you, don't look at, because I think what you're doing is your, you went to your head there. Okay, so, second individual, yeah. thank you. Okay. Okay, so there's, there's the nine cards. Thank you. That's kind of job offer card. That's happy family and soulmate card. But like two travel people cards. My like travel doesn't necessarily involve. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Just... No, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, because she's got these cards, I might. Because she's got these cards. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just guessing again. That's a crossroads. So starting something new. Um, and that's kind of creative new period. Maybe something that you've got reservations about. I think we're ready for number three. Thank Thanks. you. Get out of my rubbish shuffling. Thank you, thank you, right. thank you. Well, you've certainly learned the, um, the, the main of the cards straight there. Yeah? There he is. Third and Hello. final one. Thank you okay. very, very much. So there we go, you grab those. Okay. 
So remember the main thing obviously we're looking for is this kind of this life changing event. Right. Yeah, well, she's going to see that. It, it yeah. will come out in, in the three. Well, hey, listen, I'm trying to help her. That. That's your yeah. job. <laughs> <laughs> that would this? indicate someone who's going to have a big... While I was hard at work, I couldn't help but notice a tall, bespectacled man standing watching me and scribbling furiously as I did my readings. They've been worrying about, I'd interpret that as, but I wouldn't necessarily say this was someone who was going to because this is the sort of card of being in limbo and nothing much happening. Although they've got kind of positive... I was struggling to get some meaning from the final set of cards, but I could feel crunch time fast approaching.